Hello everyone, welcome back to The Body Coach TV. My name is Lucy and today we're going to be going through a 20 minute hip opening yoga flow. So we're going to be mostly floor based and again you won't need any props today, you just need a little space for yourself. And we're going to start in a seated position. And we are going to start in a cross-legged position today. So if this doesn't feel too comfortable, feel free to grab a block or a cushion to sit on just to lift your hips up a little bit so we can create some more space there. Otherwise, just come down to this position whenever you're ready. You're gonna place the hands on the knees and then close down the eyes. And we're just gonna start by grounding down into this space So letting go of anything that might have happened, any conversations earlier on today, and just really allowing yourself to be here in your mat. And just start to notice the breath. So where can you feel the breath moving? Is it moving in your belly? Is it moving in your chest? Maybe you can just feel it coming in and out through the nose. And just start to notice the breath. Sometimes we can go a whole day or even a few days without just taking a step to notice ourselves, notice our breath, and really just check in with how you're feeling. So maybe ask yourself that question today. How are you feeling right now? And however you're feeling, we're going to take today's class as it comes, without any judgment, any expectations. We're just going to move through the practice today. I want to see if you can try to move in time with your breath as well. So don't worry if your breath is out of time with me because we will breathe at different paces. Just take this as you, at your own pace. We're going to take a couple of deep breaths. So take a nice big inhale through the nose. See if you can send that breath down into the belly, blow up like a nice big balloon. And then a nice long exhale. See if you can feel the belly as it starts to draw back down towards the spine. One more like that nice big deep inhale. And a nice long exhale. Good. And then while your eyes are closed, just take a moment to set an intention for your practice today. And again, that can be absolutely anything. Maybe you want to feel more productive. Maybe you want to just be really mindful through the practice or through the rest of your day. Whatever it is, just make it personal to you and see if you can bring that intention into your mind. We're just going to take one more big breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Lovely. Slowly start to open the eyes with a nice soft gaze. As you inhale, we're going to reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands come down to the heart. Lovely. From here, just bring your hands onto your hips. See if you can find <clears throat> your hip bones. And we're going to just take a few little circles and I want you to really feel the hips moving. So imagine your pelvis as a bowl of water and as we roll around, we're going to try to spill the water out from all sides of the bowl. So holding onto those hips, we're going to roll over to the side, tilt your uh, pelvis down, so you're pouring water out the front and then round to the side. And as you come back, the pelvis is lifting, so we're tipping water out the back. So nice big circles, we're going to do two more in this direction and see if you can lift your chest at the front and cave the chest at the back. Good, and then switching directions and so rolling around the opposite way, just starting to really warm up into the hips. So notice if you can feel anything there. Take one more circle like this, and then come all the way back to the center. Good, from here we're just gonna bring your hands down onto the floor, sit nice and tall in the spine, take a big inhale. And as you exhale, start to walk your hands down. Now your arms might stay straight and you might just drop your head down. You might be able to drop your elbows down onto the floor. You might even be able to drop your forehead down to the ground. But wherever you are, it doesn't matter. Just see if you can breathe into this pose. And make sure we're not rolling up onto the knees. So keep the seat down on the floor. Take one more deep breath there. And then nice and slowly, we're going to walk those hands all the way back up. Now we're just going to take the opposite cross of the legs, whatever leg you have on top right now, lift it up and bring it underneath. This is the unnatural way that you sit, it might feel a little bit weird at first, don't worry. Bring your hands down onto the floor, we're going to take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale again, we're going to start to fold. Now just notice what feels different on this side. Maybe one side you had both arms straight and now the side you're on the floor, maybe it's the other way around. Maybe it just feels weird because it's the opposite leg. Wherever you can feel here, just start to notice those feelings. Take one more deep breath. Good. And then nice and slowly, we're going to walk the hands all the way back up. Good. From here, just bring your hands out behind you. We're going to take your legs nice and wide, feet flat on the floor, lean back onto your hands, and we're just going to start to drop the knees from side to side. 
So don't worry if your knees don't come all the way down to the ground. That's absolutely fine. We're just starting to really open up into those hips and mobilize them. Good. Lovely. Now, if you want to, you can stay here with your hands on the floor. If you want to progress from this, we're going to come forward, lift up from the chest, and then reach your hands out in front of you. Now, as we rock over to the right, your whole body is going to turn with your legs. And you want to have your legs both in 90 degree angles, so just shuffle them out for a little bit close. On the way back, you want your back leg to lift first, and then as soon as it can't lift anymore, we're going to come all the way through the center and over to the other side. Now, now see if you can make this nice and continuous and smooth. So back leg, leg lifts first, come all the way forwards. Good, round to the other side, make this nice and smooth. Don't worry if you start creeping forwards, I am too. <laughs> Good, nice and slow. Notice if your chest caves when you get to the middle seat, you can really lift up through the spine. We're just gonna do one more on each side. Lovely. Well done, and then slowly come back to the center. From here, grab a hold of your feet and bring the soles of your feet together and squeeze your legs in nice and close towards you, as close as you can, holding onto the ankles. You might sway from side to side. You might even roll around in circles, whatever feels like it's warming up your hips more. We're gonna take a nice big inhale again. And as you exhale, start to walk your hands down. Again, arms might stay straight. Maybe you come onto the elbows. Maybe your forehead comes down to the floor. Wherever you are, see if you can relax the shoulders. Drop the head down. Then are you tensing your thighs and squeezing your thighs? Can you allow them to just relax? We're just going to take one more deep breath there. Good. And then nice and slowly start to walk your hands all the way back up. We're going to bring your hands underneath your knees now and just slowly draw them together. Cross the legs over and we're going to come into your tabletop. So, hands on the floor directly underneath your shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips. Spread your fingers nice and wide, so you're almost pressing down for each of your fingertips. As you inhale, drop the belly down, look up to the sky. Exhale to round. And there'll be two more like that. Inhale, look up, drop the belly down. And exhale to round. Last one, inhale to look up. And exhale to round. Lovely, come back to a neutral spine. We're gonna take your right leg out behind you and then bend your legs, so toe pointing up towards the sky. We're gonna take nice big circles. Start to lift your knee up and over. Nice big circles as you roll it around as wide as you can. Good, one more like that. Okay, now we're going to take your foot, kick it out to the side, flex your foot and bring it all the way down to the floor. So you want your right foot to be in line with your left knee. As you inhale, come forwards into the hand slightly. And as you exhale, sit the hips back down towards the heels. Don't worry if they don't come all the way down. Inhale, we're going to come forwards. Exhale, sit back down again. Lovely, last one. Inhale, come forwards. And exhale to sit back down. Hold it there for a moment. Can you drop the head down towards the floor? Relax through the shoulders. One more deep breath. And then slowly come back. That's good. Keep your right leg out to the side. As you inhale, we're going to reach your right arm up to the sky. Nice big stretch. And as you exhale, we're going to thread that arm underneath so you can bring your shoulder and the side of your head down to the floor. So you should feel the stretching in your inner right thigh. Hold it there for one more deep breath. And then slowly release. Both hands on the floor. We're going to take your right foot, step it all the way up to the top of the mat so it's on the outside edge of your right hand. Give yourself a little wiggle if you need to to get nice and comfortable in this pose. And then we're going to take your right arm up to the sky, bend the elbow, take a nice big inhale. Exhale, see if you can drop that elbow down on the inside edge of your front foot. Don't worry if it doesn't come all the way down. Inhale, lift up and open. Exhale, drop it down. The last one, inhale to lift up. And exhale, drop it down. Good, slowly bring both hands onto the floor. And we're just going to step that right foot back into your tabletop. Well done. This time we're taking your left leg out behind you. Square the hips off, bend the leg top towards the sky. And we're going to take those big circles. Okay, see if you can really exaggerate this movement. So rolling that leg round as wide as you can. Good. 
Then we're going to straighten your left leg out to the left hand side, drop that foot down so your foot is in line with your right knee. As you inhale, rock forwards into the hands, exhale, sit back towards the heels, drop the head. Lovely. Inhale to come forwards, move in time with your breath, don't worry about mine. Exhale, press back. Last one, inhale to come forwards. And exhale, press back, hold it there, drop the head, relax the shoulders. One more breath. Good, and then as you inhale, come all the way up. Keep your left leg out to the side. We're gonna reach your left arm up to the sky, take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, we're gonna thread the arm through. We're trying to get our shoulder and our head down towards the floor. Good, feeling that stretch in your inner left thigh this time. One more deep breath. Good. and then slowly come all the way back up, placing that hand down on the floor. We're going to take your left foot to the outside edge of your left hand, wiggle it all the way up there, and then take a few little wiggles if you need to, just to open up through the hips. Good. On your next inhale, we're going to bend your left arm, reach up to the sky, really open that chest. Exhale, elbow down on the inside edge of the foot. Two more, inhale to lift up. Exhale, drop it down. Last one, inhale to lift up. And exhale, come down. Good, bring both hands flat on the floor. This time we're going to tuck your back toe under and hop that right foot all the way to the outside edge of your right hand, coming down into everybody's favourite low squat. Good, from there, fingertips on the floor. We're just going to start to rock from side to side. So really opening up into those hips a little bit deeper. Good. And then we're going to start to find a little bit of stillness. Don't worry if your heels don't come all the way down to the floor, it's absolutely fine. Hands to your heart, can you press your elbows into the sides of your knees and then lengthen through the spine, relaxing through the shoulders. Hold it there. Good. We're going to take our right hand down to the floor, see if you can get that arm on the inside edge of your knee. Left hand reaches up to the sky. Take a nice big twist. Good, now you might stay here or you might come into the bind. If you want to come into the bind, this bottom hand is going to wrap around the knee. Top hand reaches back so you can grab a hold of the fingertips. Good, hold it there. Keep lifting that top shoulder. One more breath. And then slowly release. Good, we do the same on the other side. So this time, left hand down. Right arm reaches up, nice big stretch. Either stay here, this is option one, or option two, we're coming into that bind. Looping around the knee, lifting up that top shoulder. One more deep breath. And then slowly release. Good, bring both hands down to the floor. We're gonna come into our forward fold. So we need to turn your toes towards the top of the mat, and let's start to straighten the legs. Drop the head, you might even have a little sway from side to side. We're going to bend through the knees, slowly roll all the way up to standing. Head is the last thing to lift. Okay, once you reach the top, as you inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold over the legs, drop your head down. Okay, as you inhale, we're going to come up halfway. You can have your hands on your shins or hands on the floor if you have the flexibility in your hamstrings. Plant the hands down onto the ground, step it back into your high plank. We're going to drop your knees down to the floor, elbows into your sides as you lower your chest all the way down to the ground. Good. Inhale, come up into your cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes. We're going to press it up and back into your downward facing dog. Lovely. From there, press the shoulders away from your ears. You want equal weight in your hands and your feet. And you might just start to pedal out through the legs. Good. Just stretching out those hamstrings. Lovely. From there, start to find some stillness in your downward facing dog. I'm going to take your right leg up to the sky. This time, open out the hips. So get up as high as you can. And we're going to bend that top leg. Now, notice if your shoulders have twisted. See if you can keep them level. And we're going to take three big circles, rolling around as high as you can. Really try to exaggerate this movement, keeping those shoulders nice and still. Good, once you've taken those circles, we're going to bring your right knee 
towards your right wrist, plant it down on the floor, kick your foot off to the left hand side and then wiggle your back leg down the mat as far as you can. You want to make sure you're centered here and not leaning off to one side. Take a nice big inhale and as you exhale slowly start to walk your hands down. You might stay on your elbows or you might bring your forehead down to the floor. Whatever option you choose, can you relax the shoulders and can you really soften into that space around your hip, around the glute? We're just going to take two more deep breaths here. With every single exhale, send your breath into that space. Really use the breath to help you sink a little bit deeper into the pose. One more breath there. Lovely. And then nice and slowly, we're going to walk the hands all the way up. We're going to tuck your back toe under, see if you can lift that back knee away from the floor. And all we're going to do is step your right foot back into your downward facing dog. And we do the same on the other side. So this time the left leg is going to sweep up to the sky as high as you can, open up through that hip. We're going to bend the top leg, keep the shoulders square, and start to take those big circles, rolling around as wide as you can. Good, nice big circles. Lovely. Then when you're ready, we're going to bring your left knee towards your left wrist. Plant it down on the floor. Kick your foot off to the other side and wiggle your back leg down the mat. And if you do notice that you're really rolling off to one side, you can always grab a cushion or a pillow and just place it underneath your seat to help keep you lifted and centre. Take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, we're going to walk the hands down. Again, either onto your elbows or bring your forehead down, whatever works for you. And just start to close down the eyes. Can you relax the shoulders even more? Can you breathe into that left hip? Lovely. Can you notice any tension anywhere else in the body, maybe around the face, around the jaw? Good. One more deep breath there. And then nice and slowly, we're going to walk the hands all the way back up. Good. This time, we're going to lean over onto your left leg, swing your right leg all the way around to the front of the mat. And we're going to bring the soles of the feet together again. But this time, instead of having them really close towards you, I want you to press the feet away from you so that we have almost a little diamond shape in between the legs. We're going to bring the backs of the hands down onto the floor in the middle and then slowly wiggle them underneath your calves, palms facing up, see if you can rest the backs of the hands on the floor. And as you exhale, can you drop the head, relax through the shoulders. Now really try to just surrender into this pose, try to really let go. So let the legs be nice and heavy, resting on the arms, let the arms and the hands be heavy on the floor, and just let your head be nice and heavy as you relax through the shoulders. And we're just gonna hold here for two deep breaths. So again, using that exhale, to help you sink a bit deeper. One more breath there. Good, and then nice and slowly, as slow as you can, wriggle yourself all the way out from underneath the legs, come all the way up to seated, well done. Bring your hands underneath your knees and very slowly start to bring them all the way together. We're gonna to shuffle forward towards the top of your mat, feet flat on the floor, Hands reach out in front and we're going to roll back down. So imagine I had super glued your feet to the ground so you can't move them. You want your lower back to hit the floor first. So slowly curl your spine. Lower back is going to come down to the floor first. Keep those feet down. Lovely. Then your middle back. Then your upper back. Then your head. Then your shoulders. Come all the way down. Good. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Give them a little squeeze, maybe rock from side to side. And we're just going to place the soles of the feet on the floor. You want them about hip width distance apart, knees up to the sky. Hands down by your side. Now before we lift the hips, can you tuck the tailbone under and press the lower back down? Good. Then start to press into the feet. Come all the way up into your bridge pose. Now you can stay here if you want to interlace your fingers underneath your body and roll your shoulders under, you can always do that too. Wherever you are, squeeze the glutes. Hold in there for one more deep breath. Good. Then release your hands. 
Come up onto your tiptoes and as slow as you can, can you roll the spine back down to the floor? See if you can really feel each vertebrae hit the ground one by one as you come all the way down. Lovely. Once you reach the floor, you can just sway the knees from side to side. Good. And then just leave both knees over to the right hand side for a moment. You can turn your head to the left, maybe even open out the arms a little bit and see if you can really relax the entire body. Take a nice big breath in and a nice long breath out. Good. Inhale, bring the knees all the way up. Exhale, drop them down to the other side. Good. Again, taking a nice big inhale. And a nice long exhale. Beautiful. Bring the knees all the way back to the center. And then for our Shavasana today, we're going to bring the soles of your feet together and just allow the knees to fall out to the side. You can have your arms reaching out or you can just rest them on your belly, on your body, wherever it feels comfortable. Close down the eyes. Take a nice big inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Start to let go of the entire practice, allowing yourself just to be here on the floor. Start to notice your breath. Where can you feel it moving? And start to find that presence. Can you be really present here? Can you notice any sounds around you? Can you notice any sensations in your body? And just know that for these next couple of moments, you have absolutely nothing left to do. All you need to do is just be here. If you want to spend a little bit longer here today, you're very welcome to maybe another five or ten minutes. If you want to get up with me, you can slowly bring your hands underneath your thighs, gently draw the knees up together, and then bring them into the chest. Give them a little squeeze, maybe even rock from side to side. And then just roll all the way over onto one side, maybe using your arm as a little pillow. Take a moment there just to check in. How do you feel right now? How does your body feel? How do you feel compared to the beginning of the class? And then keeping your eyes closed, slowly press yourself up to a seated position. Take your time to get there. There's no rush at all. And just bring your hands out onto your legs once you're there. Take a nice big inhale as you lift your shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, roll them back down the spine. Nice big inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Bring your hands together at your heart center. Notice this beautiful energy you've created today and know that you can bring this with you into the rest of your day. Bow your head down towards your hands. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope your hips all feel a little bit more open now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Have a lovely day and I will see you all again very soon.